Hi everybody, Graham here, and welcome at long last to the continuation and eventual conclusion of my Fallout 4 Let's Play, The Adventures of Agatha Fisty, One Punch Gran. If you are unfamiliar with what that is and who that is, hopefully all will be revealed uh, shortly. I, you should be able to pick it up fairly quickly, you're a smart bunch. If you are familiar with this and, like me, have been eagerly awaiting the day when we would finally continue this adventure together, uh, well then, it's it's happening and uh, I'm sorry that it's taken so long. Anytime anybody asks on Twitter, on you know, conventions or whatever, I would always say, Agatha's adventure in the Commonwealth will conclude someday. Anyway, we're here now. I'm here now in this video to apologize and to mention that this episode, episode 10, was recorded at the same time as the originals. We never released it because there had already been like a week or two downtime delay and we weren't sure when I'd get the next one recorded. So we just sort of sat on it until we knew when we'd have a release schedule. And um, well, it's 2021 now, uh, but I have everything else recorded and Finally, we can conclude this darn thing. I mentioned that this episode was recorded way back because uh, let's say that the audio video fidelity improves <laughs> over the course of the several years. Because I didn't record this. This is not a lockdown thing that I was like, oh, time to record all the rest of that. I've been chipping away at this over <laughs> several years. So, you know, things things get get better uh, as as they go. If you, again, like me, are very excited about this and you you know everything that happened in the first nine episodes, you can probably skip ahead about 18 minutes in this video. There should be a chapter marker for it and catch right up to the beginning of episode 10. If you would like a refresher, if you're unfamiliar on where we're at in Agatha's adventures, well, the first nine episodes all exist on this channel. They're in the same playlist as this video. You can go and check them out. Why not? We'll link it below. But if you would prefer a more condensed recap, we have prepared a more condensed recap, <laughs> which you can watch right now, and that will carry you through to the beginning of episode 10 and the start of the conclusion of Agatha's Adventures. So, welcome back, everybody. Let's get into it. All righty, let's give this a shot. Hey, everybody, Graham from Loading Ready Run. War and never changes. War never, never changes, apparently. Tonight, let's take Agatha Fisty into the Commonwealth. Not bad at all. Bluggle, 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 bluggle. Perfect. That's exactly how I do it. And oh my god! Human tragedy, blah blah blah. You realize all you've done now is make Agatha mad. As Supreme Punch Lady Agatha Fisty stepped once more into the light, she marveled at all the places to go and all the people to indiscriminately slap the hell out of. Oh, it's... it's really you! All right. Let's get out there. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> you want to come with me, pal? <laughs> Wham! Wabamo! Wait, dog meat. Wait, this is important. Perfect. Don't try to start shit you can't finish with Agatha Fisty. You owe me. Yeah, sure thing. I'll give you my chest full of emeralds just as soon as we're out of this mess. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Don't give me sass. Knuckles, you say? Oh. I see. That Deathclaw may be slightly out of my league. Maybe I should run back to the power armor. Damn. 
Terrific. Now, never again. Don't give me that destiny crap. You are a woman out of time, out of hope. And in a kick-ass piece of armor, apparently made out of a bike rack. Good goodbye. I'm goodbye. Time to insert myself into this disagreement. What the? They're fighting a Mr. Gutsy? Spiked knuckles? Maybe I should take those welding goggles off you. It's obviously impacting your eyesight. I don't know who lives up there, but you're probably about to get your head punched off. That looks like a giant Mr. Handy. Oh, this should be interesting. How can we serve you today? Uh, charbroil? Diced? Mashed? Wait a minute. Crap. I don't think I much care for this place. Boom! Wow. Let me go look in the bowling alley. Whoa, 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 whoa. God, if this thing comes to life, I'm out. Oh, of course. I don't have to show you anything. Unacceptable! Whoa. And then everything exploded outside. So, anyway, what happened was I died. <clears throat> no, it's not operating normally. He's trying to murder me. I'm gonna get more powerful fists, and I'm gonna come back and break you in half. Away we go. We're so close to getting blitz. Got there. Okay. Agility 9. Maybe Agatha Fisty could be a sea captain. Ooh. I mean, obviously yes. This place is off limits. Move along. Okay, that actually went alright. Only opens with a key. On we go. Hey, another medical building. Welcome to Sandy Cove's convalescent home. Hey, kitty. Dog meat, say hi to the kitty. Hello. What? Um... This is gonna be sweet. You... Maniacs. Go where you belong. I will avenge Waffles for you. We are heading into town. To avenge a kitty. Watch this, right across the gap in the floor. Boom. What is that? Enemies have a harder time detecting you while you're sneaking. Oh. What? Holy crap, I'm actually invisible? Oh, this is gonna be very, very abusable. Boston? Let's do this. That's a boat. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. I don't really know what I expected. I'll have none of your lit, Mr. Navigator. We need your assistance. Huzzah! Huzzah to you too. Reclaim ship at Scavenger's forward recon station. So he wants to build a rocket. You can't seriously be alright with that? Okay. Yoink. Complete this task, and I will gladly relate our mission. Turbo pumps, huh? Surprise. Surprise. Oh, damn. Agatha Fisty is now like Nightcrawler. What is that? Hey, turbo pump bearings. Here is your amply deserved reward. Uh, what? Bye. Okay. Well, 
We are heading into the middle of Boston. Um, the Yagoi better be dead. It is. Okay. How did it? It. I am immediately crippled and cut. Oh boy. Well. Yeah, I feel it in the shoulder too, there, Agatha. All right. Uh, so let's just go this way. Dog meat found something. You want me to die. All right. Fine. Fine. This is what I get for listening to my idiot dog. What? Is it a super mutant? I can't leave. Okay. Let's actually get the hell away from this guy. Yes! Ooh. Definitely almost died there. Increase the wearer's strength and melee damage. I think the fisty is ready for anything now. And yeah, where were we going? Diamond City. Remember baseball? What do you mean you can't open the gate? Piper, who let you back inside? You look like Diamond City material. Not really your business. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Really? Oh, yes. Sold. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I appreciate the offer of joining me, but I have this monumentally idiot dog that uh, I've grown somewhat attached to, so gotta get this plot going if we're ever gonna get to the Institute and punch the daylights out of everybody. Hi, I'm looking for Thomas. Nick Valentine. Office is closed. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. So where the hell am I going? Whoa! Swan, please. Hi. I'm sorry, did all of you want to say something to me, or... I mean, I just don't know how you're supposed to defend yourself against a teleporting grandmother. Have that sweet roll. And the whiskey. Agatha's gonna sneak up on all the Triggermen. There we go. There we go. Get them action points regenerating more quickly. Yes. Whiskey has worn off? I don't think so. Oh, hey, I have bourbon. I don't love the irony of the reverse damsel in distress scenario. I need you to find someone, but it's... It's complicated. Well, I've done jobs with less. Oh, God. It's really you. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. I need to find Sean. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? You said he lives here? Let's check out this house Kellogg left vacant. No way I can pick this. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. Thanks for nothing. <clears throat> okay, apparently the mayor is invincible. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Nick, I did the thing. Kellogg must have left something behind. Stout. Done. Cigars. San Francisco sunlights. The great clockwork dick is stumped? It's synth detective, jackass. What about dog meat? A commonwealth mutt like him can track a man sent for miles. He's more likely to lead me to New Vegas than wherever Kellogg is. Dog meat? Dog meat, where did you bring me? Where did... New Vegas, he actually did it. You son of a- Welcome back, everyone, to more adventures of Agatha Fisty with her best friend, Idiot Dog. Uh, well, let's go. San Here Francisco go. Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Search for clues, like this dead guy? And now we travel overland. A legendary. Wow, he died right away. Never really slows time. It's just statistically better, and also it slows time if I'm at 20% or less health. So, yeah. Oh my god, a fence. This is why I have trust issues with you, dog meat. Is this the place? Huh? Hello. Hi. Blam. Wabammo. <laughs> Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Hey, shut up. You don't know that I'm here. I'm a surprise. Look, you're pissed off. I get it. 
Hi. Surprise. So, here we are. Funny, huh? Fuck you, Kellogg. Your son is exactly where he belongs. He's home. In the Institute. Ooh, I'm addicted to chems. Well, that went pretty well. Cybernetic brain augmenter. All this tech. You were barely human. Oh, good. Some addictol. All right, that was. Um, hello. So, I want to punch them. Also, yo, has anyone seen an airship? Hey, I want to get on board your dumb thing. We're always looking to add a few more brothers and sisters to our ranks. I know I have what it takes. Then prove it to us. So I have to go here? Dogmeat bit that guy's arm off. Dogmeat found something. Is it an arm? Is it an arm, boy? Did you find someone's arm? I'm the buffest. Whoa. You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? It's a good plan. If we make it back. Follow me. And try not to lag behind. Man, he's in a hurry. All right. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute since. Ew, why is there a couch in the bathroom? There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Engine core power restored. I'm just gonna... Oh my god! Are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. You kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no <laughs> well, one of us had to keep cool. Let's get back to the police station. We have the transmitter. Finally! Let me know when you're ready to mount up. I beg your pardon? Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. You keep com he he yo Halen he's coming on to me right you heard that right there she is it's been far too long since I've been aboard yes I discovered the Pridwin allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission and is this dog me did you find the Pridwin yes. too and yeah and just gonna and every pop squat here ooh he's a lot tougher than me this could be a challenge. Wow. Well, they don't like me very much. Airship captain's hat. No longer the captain of the sea. She is now the captain of the skies. Watch out! I did not throw that grenade this time. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> Good start, good start. Yeah, I don't know that there's a way that this works right now. Well, at least the cat survived. One of them just got themselves a grenade. What kind of grenade was that? Uh. You've earned it, Doug. Leave no survivors. I that's my plan. Uh oh. Wow. I... Well, now I don't feel so fucking bad, do I? Who <laughs> looks like such an idiot with your glasses? I guess we should go talk to Nick. Well, well, speak of the devil. Kellogg was working with the Institute. There's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Yeah. 
Feel like holding a seance? There's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. I'll head there on my own. All right, see you at the den. We've made a powerful enemy this day. But I got this sweet hat. So really, it's a wash. You see, even dog meat likes the hat. Well, someone's excited to see me. Hey, dog meat, how's it going? Yeah, boy. How are you? And how are all of you? Welcome back to the further adventures of Back of the Fisty. Now, I know what you're saying. I haven't even put the last episode online yet, and I already realized a massive error that I made, which is that Reese, that piece of crap over at Cambridge Police Station, was supposed to be the first person on my Brotherhood of Steel two-punch list. Uh, yeah, but obviously that didn't... Good lord. Obviously that didn't happen, but I need to correct that now. So yeah, how could I have possibly forgotten the Reese was number one on my list? Well, a big part of it is that I was on the Pridwin at the time. And uh, I don't know if I would have been able to easily get back... There's a vertebrate shooting at me, that's great. I don't know that I would have easily been able to get on board if I hadn't just gone for it. Oh crap. Why it's dangerous to attack the guys in the power armor because sometimes they will just explode. So yeah, that's great. I like that the game is trying to tell me about guns. It's like, hey, have you considered bullets? Let's go to College Square this time. This way maybe I can sneak up on the police station? That'll be good. Dog meat found something. Yay. I don't even know where he is. There he is. Where are you going, dog meat? You're leading me towards the frag mine. Uh, you know what? I don't care. I'm not going for it. If we can get inside, we can probably take Reese out. Why am I already at danger level? Oh. Oh, the vertebrate just took off because they thought they saw me? Oh, that's bad. Okay, definitely didn't realize that was going to happen. Alright. Making a run for it. Reese. Sorry, Halen. Crap. Ooh, oh boy. No fair having line of sight. Agatha can teleport around the room. 
Wow, I just punched both of their heads off. That's amazing. How? Just follow the trail of bodies. Not only am I not gone, I'm coming to get you. Hey, does anyone hear an old lady sneaking around the building? The heck? No? Yeah. Just me? Over here. Uh. Over here. Now you've got no legs. Elder Maxon. Uh, Elder Maxon is super dead. Like, I don't really know how to tell you, but he's like the most dead. Damn it. Man, nice thing about the... Ooh. Nice thing about all these Brotherhood guys, they all seem to carry stim packs. Uh, I really want to be able to <laughs> port up there, but I don't think it's feasible. Well, I mean... She is a captain. <laughs> well, I hit the leg. Damn. Captain Fisty says, stay down. Level up instead. Level 16 for more ninja. Level 18 for action girl. I think I'll just go for more toughness. What the, what the hell was that? You all saw that, right? That guy just launched himself into the sky. I don't know how he did that. I want to see if they'll do it again. That was amazing. It's the big guy I'm worried about. Do I even have any grenades left? No, but I do have Molotov cocktails. So... Hmm, that barely hurt the knight. I can't fast travel until they're not aggro anymore, so I kind of have to deal with them one way or another. Or I can just jump off the roof. That seems dangerous. I guess I can just let them not be aggro anymore. Well, that's that. strict shoot to kill orders. I guess that, that works. Anyway, we will come back here. Oh, you can't fast travel when enemies are nearby. Really, even when they're not aggroed? Well, alright then. I wonder if it's going to be possible to sneak up on the... the knight. If the knight is by the door, then I should be able to sneak up on him when I leave the building. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Hey, <laughs> the, the dog is waving. You're waving, doggy. Yeah, super dead, though. Why 
does this guy have a telephone? That initiate had three fusion cores and five missiles in their footlocker. Why do you ever need more than three missiles in your footlocker? What possible use does anyone ever have for more than three missiles? Alright, let's see if this works. Who's there? Huh? Damn it. Uh not fair. Great, I'm stuck here. The autosave stuck me in an infinite loop of death. So that was nice. The heck? What was that? Intruder alert! <laughs> Taste it. Now. You. Take no prisoners! Take down. Bam. Dead. Out. Wasn't there another one of you? I thought there was more of you. You may have noticed that I was leaving all the dog tags on the Brotherhood of Steel. Because taking a dead soldier's dog tags is a war crime. And Agatha may punch people indiscriminately, but she's no war criminal. Now, what the hell are we doing? Right. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is near this cemetery. I'll get you eventually. Bam. nonchalantly take your arm clean off. I know that Swan is just over there. I really don't feel like taking Swan on until I don't have to rely on the broadsider. I really want to beat him hand to hand. Dogfights just break out naturally. It's not my fault. Correctly. Ooh. Hey, super mutants. It's just a granny and her puppy. Actually, wait, I'm not afraid of super mutants. Get over here. What's that? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dog meat, why? Why you always gotta do a thing? I'm only slightly on fire. It's fine. Yeah, it was nothing. It was just a dog and a flaming invisible lady. Oh, sneak attack damage is so good. I hear something. Ooh, hi. <laughs> and stay down. Ooh, a lucky leather left leg. I look forward to seeing what the lucky leather left leg will bring me. So it's only one worse physical resistance than the lightweight hardened left leg that I have, but it gives me plus two luck, and that seems sweet, so 
Let's do that. Also, it doesn't make me look like a McFarlane character anymore, so, you know, added side bonus. Oh, good neighbor. This way. Perfect. Figured I should get some plot in this episode, just so it's not wall-to-wall -wall brotherhood eviscerations. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Oh, okay. Cool. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from the insurance, I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, time out. If someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, sister? You killed him. Got a good pair of eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Of the people, for the people. Oh, brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. I like that guy. I'm just gonna take this guy's stuff because he doesn't need it anymore. Ooh. Hey, whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that come in peace malarkey. Yeah, I took care of them, don't worry. Hey there. What's up? I know who you are. What a day, huh? Anyway. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Do you have any punchy things? Knuckles. These are not better knuckles. Dang, that is a powerful piece of armor. Might be worth it if I could afford $26,000. As it is, all I can do is trade you ammo for your money. Do I have 26,000 caps worth of ammo? I might. I don't think I do, though. No. Let's see what I can sell next door. Certainly no weapons I want. This chest piece might do for a little while. Maybe it's time to finally retire the grognak outfit. Ooh, I should probably get that. Chance of getting addicted to chems again? Very high. Ooh, and cannonballs. Yes, please. As for you, you can have all my other ammo. Stim packs, you say. 1500 caps? Sure. Actually, I actually have a lot of weapons I can sell, now that I think about it. Stay free, sister. You're blocking my light now. <laughs> what the... what? I don't know you people. This guy, though. Now, I was heading to the memory Brotherhood den. of steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Oh, I already killed the shit out of them, don't now, worry. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time. But a flying ship? Yeah, I was a... Yeah, I, I, yeah, I run it now. It's mine. Let's look at my hat. It's my, it's my ship now. Don't worry about it. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about little old me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Hey, Valentine. Let's go talk to Amari. You okay? Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Hey, Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. 
Just don't let the big metal softy hurt himself. All right? All right. Dr. Amari? Yes? I take it this isn't a social call. Oh, man. I'm gonna have this. Buff out. Nice. Were you going to say something or not? What? Oh, me? Oh, hi. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. A guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Did you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Igor, fetch me the brain! Sorry. No, I will not. Now, do you have <clears throat> it? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Uh, I appreciate that you looked at awfully you familiar. looked at it the same way that any human would look at an object. I've seen, totally all the normal. Technology has a similar architecture. So the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay, so the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't care. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Hmm. Fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your I feel bad making fun of Nick, but Are you Agatha doesn't feel that bad. There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick going to be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load two both people? you and Mr. Madness. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Nick and I are going to share a mind? I'm not going to see him in any compromising positions, am I? Yeah, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. Uh, <laughs> no. You won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. How come you take that one? Why can't I take that one? What do you know that I don't? Alright, fine. This is how this works? Really? With a CRT? Oh god, is Dogme going to be watching me the whole time? Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. 
boy. The Listen to me. Don't pee it's degenerated, but it's on there. the memory lounge. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Dog meat. Dog meat. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. This is weird. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. I also can't go into third person in here. Can I kill him? Dad was either drunk or not around. I'll punch him. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, Remember, but you are I never really knew what he did. This Don't know why Mom was with him. Could one, 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 point one at a time? Life, Could one of you complete asshole. please not all? Oh god. Okay. Whatever. I'm out. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's me. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. It's gonna be fine. Happiness we'll is a warm pair of brass knuckles. We don't know anybody here. Hello, Not tiny baby. Ba whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter no, I, I never deserved her. Well, you don't get to choose, Not typically. For one second. Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. What happens if I fall off this? You know what? I don't want to find out. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? With a party? I was promised punch and pie. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? I... yes, just that's so you know, why I did it. They died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Where did... okay. I guess I'm going this way. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit Ooh. yourself. Please, I'd love to. Can I? Whoa, 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 rude. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh. We'll pay you. And, uh... Oh, we'll pay you with lives. money. That's right. O okay, why did we'll that sound you. threatening? The job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Everyone, else, everyone went away. I was gonna do a thing. Oh well. Ah, oh, this looks promising. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. Why the eyes? You still give That's me the creeps, very but. Very strange. You have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. You're with the Institute. 
I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. Agatha Fisty didn't is know an anything inconvenient about operating boogeyman. on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. We do, as you can see. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. Uh, his eyes are moving too, that's weird. I wasn't gonna be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. Whatever. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Whoa, hey, hold up. Suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just... That's me. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. <laughs> but I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thawed out. And that would be your first At least mistake. I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Well, your last mistake, anyway. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. Lot C6, down the hall near the end. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Agatha Fisty. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never like to. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it Almost. Okay? Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. No. I've got it. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son! God damn it. Get the kid out of here. Let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. I don't look nearly as mad as I What's thought I would. Up? Oh, well, whatever. Almost finished. I'm. Uh... Sorry you had to go through that again. Yeah. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Uh, occurrences? Is that your son? It wasn't my idea to this settle down to with the kid in the middle memory. of Diamond City. So, good news, I think. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Oh, 
so. We just hanging out or what? This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Do I go back? Yeah. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Need left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wait, wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Armpit file. Nice. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. Highly classified so, program. I guess you're taking like something the from the Marvel Universe? Right like, I know they're really strict on spoilers, but... Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Your father's dead? Whoa, what the... Okay. But the dreaming... X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Goodbye. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there. Please, as as you're ready. God, yes. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. I'm gonna vomit no everywhere. Ever done this before. How do you feel? Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? The Institute's second greatest secret is how they get the smooth flowing caramel into the caramel bar. <clears throat> what? You don't have a spare teleporter lying around. What kind of egghead are you? This is serious. No one outside the Institute could dream of making that kind of technology. Wait, maybe that's it. That memory about Virgil, their scientist who went rogue. If we found him... I like it. The memory said the Institute tracked him to the glowing sea, but that seems crazy. A madman would think twice about going there. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. -E yeah, I know how to spell you find dead. A way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Well. Nick. 
Nick, yo, what's up? Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Um. You want to try for round two, huh? Let's go. What? What are you talking about? Wait. Are you just playing a joke on me? I guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. We have to head into the glowing sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. That or you could buy up all the Radex and rad away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. I'm gonna head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. I have 34 Radex and 30 rad goodbye. Wow, Nick's in a real rush to I'm sorry that I'm such bad company, ass. Uh, that's probably enough right away. Where the hell's the glowing sea? That's... I've gone nowhere near there. Alright. Well, next episode, Agatha Fisty and her partner Idiot Dog get to travel into the glowing sea, which will be interesting with Agatha's aversion to power armor. So, yeah. Join us for that. Uh, until next time, as always, this show and everything we do is brought to you by you, and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Appreciate it if you check that out. Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot that you all enjoy watching this uh, the show so much. I get lots of comments on uh, on Twitter and, of course, in the comments here about uh, how much you're liking the show, and it means a lot, so thank you. Talk to you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.